Gift baskets are a fabulous gift that so many like to give and even more like to receive. They're fun, creative, thoughtful, and often quite beautiful. And if you work it right, they can also be very budget friendly. And in this video, I'm going to share 10 secrets for making fantastic gift baskets with a high-end professional look, even using dollar store and other budget friendly materials. Last year, I published this video, which included these 10 secrets in a longer form video. So I thought I would kick off the gift basket season this year by re-editing them into a short video for quick reference while still offering over 15 gift basket examples. So let's go ahead and jump right in. Now I'm going to be using this small gift set to illustrate my examples as I go through this video. So the very first and most important of all of the secrets is color coordination. Now I've listed it four times because it is literally that important. So you can see here where all of these components are color coordinated. And here are three more examples where the contents have been color coordinated. Now, all these items were purchased from the Dollar Tree, but you can see where just doing a little color coordination can really add a higher end, more professional look. Next on the list is to have your gift set have a unified theme. In this case, it is all salty snacks as the theme for this little mug. And then in this next set, you can see a hair care gift set, which has shampoo, conditioner, a hair mask, a comb, and also a head massager. And along with being color coordinated, also offer a hair care spa theme. And then in this next margarita themed gift basket, we again see the color coordination, as well as things that go with margaritas, like a couple of margarita glasses, some margarita mix, a cutting board, and some spicy chili lime nuts. Moving on to secret number three, you want to select items for your gift set that are either high quality or have a high quality look. For example, I purchased all of these items at the Dollar Tree and made a point to purchase only the name brand items, although Dollar Tree also carries off-brand items like this. Now having said that, you can get several off-brand items in high-end looking packaging like the hair care set that we just saw. But like in this next example, all of these high-end chocolates were purchased at the Dollar Tree. So if given the choice, it's much better to spend that dollar on Godiva instead of a chocolate-flavored off-brand candy. Since the packaging is sure to be better, and I'm sure the receiver of the gift will be much happier. But you don't even need to be on the lookout for high-end brands. You can recreate that look as done here with this homemade set where I simply used high-end looking labels that I made on my computer. And then again, just note the color coordination and the unified themes. And now moving on to secret four, let's talk a little bit about the containers. Now, number one, as always, it should be color coordinated, but it also should be the appropriate size and fit for your components. So for example, with our little sample mug here, this mug is just the perfect size to hold my four components. It's color coordinated and everything will fit in nicely. Now let's take a look at those same four components and look at some other container options. Now you may see this adorable basket and think it is a perfect fit since the colors match so well. But a couple of things here about the size. One, it would require a lot more fill, which can get expensive. You can of course line the bottom with some newspaper or shopping bags, but in order to keep with that pro look, you probably wanna just get the right size container. Now with this container, not only are we going to need more shred, but we're going to need more components. As you can see, just these four alone are swimming in this container. So to make this look more professional and put together, you'll probably need at least six more components depending on their size. And now between the shred and more items to buy, you're spending much more than you want it. So the cutest basket isn't always the best choice. Now, on the other hand, this little boot ornament makes an adorable holder for a gift but you will only be able to fit comfortably three of the four components, which may be just fine if you're looking to cut some cost, but if for whatever reason you wanted to have all of them, then this is not the right container for this gift set. And then here are a few more examples of gift sets where the containers not only fit the components, but they also fit the theme. And now moving on to secret number five, I wanted to point out something that may be a little more subtle. And that is the holes at the top of the packaging when you purchase items at a retail store. These are the holes that enable the retailer to hang them on the hooks for displays. In professional gift baskets, 
the components are packaged without any of that retail holes or any type of retail packaging. So where possible, see if you can remove the holes. Now in some cases like this small jerky bag, it's not possible. So I'll just leave that go. Uh, but on these other ones, I can cut without opening the package. So I'll go ahead and do that. And now here are a few more examples of either trimming or hotting the retail packaging. In this little kitty foot pampering set, I trim the top of the foot mask package, and then I folded the retail packaging to the back on both the socks and the nail file set. And then I did the same for all the retail packaging on this gift set of scented products. And now moving on to a little less subtle and a little more obvious tip, and that is to make sure that you are layering your components so that the smallest are in front with the taller items going towards the back. And then in order to hold everything in place, you can use either double-sided tape or glue dots, both of which are available at the Dollar Tree and other budget retailers, but uh, double-sided tape is probably more popular and available than the glue dots. And I am just placing strips of the tape on the components where they will touch so that they can all stay in place in a decorative way, the way I want them to stand. And many of you have reported mixed results with the double-sided tape. So if you are someone who is struggling with getting the double-sided tape to stay, I would highly suggest trying this Gorilla mounting tape. Just a little bit would be able to help you out real well. I just discovered this over the last year and I've been using it in all types of applications and it's worked great. And I think it would also be great for gift baskets as well. It will definitely hold your components in place without tearing the packaging. I'll leave a link in the description, but you can pretty much purchase it anywhere Gorilla Glue is sold. And then here are a couple more examples of layering the items short to tall in your gift sets, as well as attaching them together with some double-sided tape. And now we're ready to move on to wrapping the gift set and secret number eight, which is really kind of which wrap to use. And the different baskets do require or look better with different wrap. So there are multiple different wraps that are available and I'll be reviewing a couple of the options available at the Dollar Tree. Now this first one is their basket bags and they do come two to a pack. They're quite large and they are a pretty good value. However, I'm not a big fan of these uh, for the reason being that they come folded in the bag and those lines stay, you can't get rid of them. So if I'm going to be using cellophane, I usually always opt for the cellophane roll. Now the Dollar Tree does have another bag available and that is their shrink wrap bag. Now that comes only one to a package, but it does have a pull bow. And these are different than the regular cellophane bags that we saw earlier. One, they have a blue package versus the red package. That's the first thing that's different. But this is also shrink wrap. So it's not just a plastic bag like the others, although it looks like that right now. But you'll see in a few minutes when you apply some heat to it, it will shrink all the way around your package. Now these are rather large bags, but that leads me to tip number nine, which is to use appropriately sized wrapping or cut it to size because you don't want oodles of cellophane that will just, you know, overwhelm your package and give kind of a junky look. Now for my first wrapping example, I'm going to go back to my Jack Lynx mug. And as you can see, I did change out the mug because I just wanted to point out that there are other options that will work just as well if you can't find limited time items. And now what I'm doing here is that I'm just making sure that my cut piece of cellophane roll is long enough on the front and sides and back in order to go over the top of my tallest components. And then I'm gonna just kind of tape it in place there in the front, do the same in the back, and then the sides are gonna come up and they're gonna create the little uh, ruffle fluff at the top. So I'll just bring that around to the sides. And this again is just using the cellophane roll. And then as you can see, that mug looks just as nice and it's probably better because the recipient can use year round. Now, before doing the shrink wrap example, I'm going to move on to item number 10 and that is to decorate with coordinated bows, ribbon greens and florals. And so for my little Jack Lynx mug, I thought the perfect finishing touch would be to add a small black and red gingham bow as well as this little acorn ornament with greens and berries. And now to demonstrate my shrink wrap example, I'm going to be using the hair care spa set from earlier in the video. 
Since I did want to use shrink wrap on this gift set, I had to reposition the comb so that it sits down inside the, the bin. And then um, I'm also going back and taping down some of the components so that they don't shift around as I do the shrink wrapping. Next, I'm going to again take a bag of the shrink wrap, and this time I'm going to separate the two sides so that I create two separate sheets of shrink wrap. Next, I'm going to lay one of the sheets over the gift set, and I'm going to just cut it down a little bit to size. I basically just want it uh, large enough to cover the front over the top, and then I'm going to just uh, fold it and tape it around the bottom as if I were wrapping a gift. Once the wrap is secure, I begin blow drying with the blow dryer again set on hot and high. And I start down at the bottom side and go all the way around the gift set and then begin to go over the top portions, just um, waving it back and forth quickly so as not to get any holes or, you know, hot marks. So I'm just kind of waving it back and forth as I'm going over the top and then reinforcing the sides as needed. To make the bow that comes in the bag, unfold the ribbon and hold the two strings in one hand while pushing the rest of the ribbon up with the other hand. The result is a quick and easy bow. Secure the bow with a knot and then just cut off the strings. Then you can just tape where you like on your package. Now, if you are not up for all that cellophaning and shrink wrapping, I have some good news because in this year's series of gift basket videos, I'm going to be sharing several options that do not require any of that at all. So be sure to be on the lookout for those videos coming up in the coming days. But if you enjoyed this video, please remember to give a big thumbs up and please share with any family and friends you think would also enjoy this video. And if you'd like to check out some more awesome DIYs, including gifts, click on one of these videos here. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you next time.